Hi everyone, my name is Marissa and welcome back to my channel, The Budgeting Wife, where we talk about all things money, budgeting, and debt-free living. Today I am sharing with you my September 2018 budget with me. Um, I did an August budget with me and you guys really seemed to like it, so I thought that I'd do another one to show you what we plan to make this month and how we plan to spend every dollar in our budget. But before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed so that you can be part of my YouTube community and also turn on your bell notifications so you won't miss when I post a new video. All right, so this is our budget for September 2018. If you're interested in getting this budget template, you can purchase it for $5 from my Etsy shop. And I have all of the formulas pre-populated for you, so it makes it super easy. Um, so you can go ahead and check out the link in the description box where I have my Etsy shop so that you can check out the template and purchase it if you'd like. So getting straight into the budget, um, we have Jacob's income and my income blocked out. And so this is our um, day job income. So I just have that personally blocked out. Um, blog and YouTube. So this is the money that I plan to make this month from my blog and YouTube. And this is money that was actually made in July and August, but I get paid out in September. So I'm able to have a pretty good idea of what I will be bringing home for that side hustle. Next, we have Young Living. I am still doing Young Living, but this last month has just been um, a little bit slower and I just haven't been putting as much time into it um, as I've been working on some other things. So um, I plan to only make $20 for September. Etsy, I plan to make $50 selling my budget templates, which brings us to a grand total of $5,054.80 for income. And now to look at where every dollar is going, and I use a zero-based budget, so that means that every expense, um, all my expenses will equal my income, so I assign every dollar a name. Um, so moving straight in here, Blocked out is our tithe um, and our giving. So we give to the church and to other organizations. And so I just have that blocked out. Um, a few of you have commented saying, um, you know, we can see, like, we can know how much you're giving based on the formulas, like doing the math. And yes, that's totally true. And I'm aware of that. Um, I just want to block out um, how much we're giving to each organization. But Yes, you can probably do the math and figure out how much we are giving as a whole. Um, but that is that. We always give. That's always important to us. Rent um, is $1,300. It's always $1,300. Utilities this month will be $7,444. Um, our apartment complex lets us know a month ahead of time of what our utility bill will be. Electric, we plan to spend $50 this month. Last month, which you'll see in our August budget report, um, ended up being a lot lower for electric than we expected, so I'm budgeting a little bit lower again for um, this summer month. Internet, as always, is $29.99, um, but we are thinking about getting a newer internet package. Um, our internet is obviously the cheapest you can get, and it is so slow when it comes to upload speed. It takes me like four hours to upload a five-minute video to YouTube, so... We may consider getting um, a new internet package. Phones um, is 108, always 108 for both of our cell phones. Car insurance is actually going down, so we're going to be paying 145.22. Groceries, we plan to spend 250. Eating out is an additional 50. Gas budgeted 200. Business, I've budgeted $100 for my business this month. And the next three things here, um, this is new. Before in our budget, I just had a miscellaneous category and lumped every single other random thing into miscellaneous. But as you guys know, it has just gotten out of control and we always seem to be over on miscellaneous. So I thought that I'd actually break it out um, a little bit more. So I broke it out to household, fun, and then miscellaneous. And so I assigned $50 for household, which is going to be things like paper towels, soap, um, random things that we have to do to keep the household up and running. Fun. Um, this is something that we just did not do when we are on our debt-free journey, so that's why we just put everything into miscellaneous. Um, but now that we are debt-free, if our friends want to go out to a movie, um, we can, you know, be able to do that, and so that is something that would go into that fun category. Miscellaneous is 100, and so that's just every other random thing. So I'm trying out this month, and we'll see how it goes. I'll definitely let you know in our September budget report. So moving, oh, so total expenses for September, we plan to spend $3,045.65 on normal expenses. And into our savings items, 
Um, we have our emergency fund and we aren't putting anything into it because we finished our emergency fund in May. And so we have $10,000 set aside for our baby step three emergency fund. Next, Jacob gets $75. I get $75 for our personal spending and we put that in a, in a sinking fund um, because we can decide to save it that month or we can spend it or do whatever we want with it. So that's why we save it every month. Extra giving, we have an extra giving fund um, that allows us to just say yes to giving opportunities if they come up. So we're putting $25 into that. Vacation fund, we put two fifteen dollars into vacation. We are going to Disneyland in December, so we are on track for our savings there. Super excited. FinCon, $100. I'm adding to that. Um, FinCon is actually for the month of September. So it's end of September. My mom and I are going to FinCon. I am so excited about it. So excited to meet um, all of my fellow YouTubers and bloggers and also just get to learn so much about um, building my business. And I told you guys before, but I actually want a free trip to FinCon. Um, so I have the flight, the lodging, um, the FinCon ticket itself all paid for by me winning this trip, which I won with a blog post. Um, and so I am just needing to cover my food. So I'm estimating spending $100 on food for um, my FinCon trip. Christmas is $30 added to that fund. We started adding to it in August, um, so we're keeping that up till through to December. Um, car fund, that is finished, and you guys will see that in our August um, budget report. That'll be out soon, um, but you'll see that for our car is fully funded. Um, and then house, um, we are putting $14.89. 15 to the house and this is just whatever is left over to get this to balance to zero is what I add to um, our house fund and so we hope that we'll be able to move next fall and so we are working on saving for our down payment now so um, my goal is to have 20,000 for our house down payment so um, yeah that's the goal by next November we'll see where we get with that so total um, savings funds is $2,009.15, um, making our total money out to be $5,054.80. And here is our total income at $5,054.80, which makes it a zero-based budget. Um, also, if you're wondering, this blacked out section is our beginning and ending balances of our sinking funds. And since you guys haven't seen our August 2018 budget report yet, um, you will just have to wait to see that until that video comes out. So you can check it out there. Um, so that is all I have for you guys for this video. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it and want to see more budget with me videos. Um, I definitely love to keep doing them if you're interested. And don't forget to check out my August 2018 budget report that will be out next week. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and turn on your bell notifications so that you can check out that August 2018 budget report video. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.